Today, we've established Joe Biden lied about interacting with Hunter Biden's business associates. It is my belief Joe Biden is the closer for Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and their business associates and foreign interests. Good luck to the left proving otherwise. Thank you. Is it your testimony today that you personally witnessed President Joe Biden commit a crime? I believe the fact that he was sitting with me while I was putting together a Did you deal, witness the president commit it, it, a crime? Is it your testimony today? Yes. And what crime do you uh, have you witnessed? How much time do I have to go through it? It is simple. You name the crime. Uh, Did you watch him steal something? Cor corruption statutes, it, RICO and conspiracy. What is it? What is, Farah, what is the crime, sir? You, Specifically, you, just, uh, you keep uh, you asked me to answer the question. I answered the question. No, Rico, you're obviously not familiar with corruption. Excuse statute. me, sir. Excuse Farah. me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Rico is not a crime. It is a category. What I is the, it's the category crime? of crimes that you're then charged? You under have charges. A long hundred. You have charges, statutes. sir. Yeah. Please you want me to name, name the exact statute sir? under Rico. Yes. I'll, well, it's funny. In this committee room, everyone's not here. There's over eight All right, sir, I reclaim my lawyers time. that I went to law school. I I'll reclaim leave it my up time. to you guys okay, to thank define you, the sir, I reclaim my time. Rico. Clearly, what we are seeing here today is a continuation of the 15-month saga of the Republican majority lost in the desert. Impeachment 101. The majority party or whomever is raising impeachment must accuse the president of a high crime, a specific high crime or misdemeanor. I would like to submit to the record HRES 918, the House resolution to open this impeachment inquiry. Without objection to order. This resolution does not outline a high crime or misdemeanor. It's not here. Now, when we compare the chairman's opening from his previous opening, he's talking about Ukraine and Burisma and all of this. It is this entire inquiry is based on a blockbuster piece of information that was in a classified skiff room. And inside that room was a document alleging President Biden directly of a $10 million bribery scheme, a $10 million bribery scheme, extremely serious. What happened? What happened a month ago, Mr. Chairman? That document, the FBI arrested the person who offered those allegations for falsifying the, his testimony at, to the FBI. This entire impeachment inquiry is based on an, on an actual, provable individual who has lied. Now, responsible leadership would withdraw an inquiry based on that. Withdraw it. Instead, what we are seeing is that this committee was warned about the falsehoods of these allegations long before that, warned by Trump's Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and yet they proceeded anyway. The chairman proceeded anyway. This committee was warned by Rudy Giuliani associate right here, Lev Parnas, after that document about the falsehoods of this. Then held hearings where your own expert witnesses said that there was no grounds for impeachment and you proceeded anyway. And finally, as if none of this was enough, the FBI arrested the individual who was the source of the entire, to quote the chairman, heart of the matter to launch this impeachment inquiry and proceeded anyway. At this point, the story is not the fact that the basis of this impeachment inquiry is wrong. The story is why it's proceeding anyway. Why is this committee proceeding based on false charges? And if there, and by the way, no charges. I have yet to hear in the chairman's opening the allegation that they are specifically charging the president of the United States with. I'm hearing about Biden family. I'm hearing about this and that. I am not hearing the specific allegation by this committee. What is it? It's not here. And that is the problem. The story is when this committee knew that they were working with falsified evidence.
We're going to go fast here. I have strictly yes or no questions. On that note, the New York Post article, Joe Biden also said, read the record of every single witness. So I did. I first read Devin Archer's deposition, and he interacted with Joe Biden. Then I read the transcripts of Wab Walker, Eric Schwerin, George Burgess, Kevin Morris, Tony Bobulinski, and Jason Galanis. And every single one of them interacted with Joe Biden. And that's just the people we interviewed. Mr. Galanis, my first questions are for you. Did Hunter Biden call Joe Biden with Elaine <laughs> Baderina on the line on May 4th, 2014, yes or no? Yes. In that call, did Hunter Biden state on this call with Joe Biden that everything is good and we are moving forward? Yes, he did. Okay, on the same call, did Joe Biden in the call was saying, okay, then you be good to my boy? Yes, he said that as well. Okay, did Baderina, Baderina agree to put $20 million into one of Hunter Biden's business projects days later after this phone call? Yes. Okay, did Hunter Biden ever take a call from Joe Biden while at the Peninsula Bar in New York? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Did Hunter Biden ever take a call from Joe Biden while at the Peninsula Bar in New York? Yes, he did. Did this during this call did Hunter Biden update Joe Biden on progress in a landing a business partnership with Harvest Fund Management? Yes. Okay. Was Harvest a three hundred billion dollar Chinese financial services company closely tied to the Chinese Communist Party? Yes, it was. Okay, is Hunter and Biden is. involved with is Hunter Biden involved with Harvest? Uh, Hunter Biden is involved in Harvest in two ways, through BHR, which is the fund Yes or no, was Hunter, Biden, was Hunter Biden involved with Harvest, yes or no? Yes. Okay, as part of the Extensive deal... Extensive emails to that effect. As part of the deal, did Hunter Biden want the company to reserve a board seat for Joe Biden? Yes. Okay, did, did Henry Zhao, a Chinese businessman, want assurances Joe Biden would join the board, yes or no? Yes, he did. Okay, did He's Hunter Biden... That in, in, in emails as well. Okay, thank you. Did Hunter Biden... Did Hunter Biden draft an email stating, please also remind Henry Zhao of our conversation about a board seat for a certain relation of mine. Devin and I golfed with that relation earlier this week, and we discussed this very idea again. And as always, he remains very, very keen on the opportunity. Um, here is a photo of uh, Joe Biden and Devin Archer and Hunter Biden golfing days before the alleged email draft. Do you believe a certain relation of mine refers to Joe Biden? I don't think there's any question. It was based on first-hand conversations with Devin Archer, who, who was okay. at, in that picture and at that golf meeting. Did yes. you ever did you ever meet with Devin Archer where Hunter took calls from his father? Yes. Okay. During one of these phone calls, did Hunter Biden tell Joe Biden that he and Henry Zhao needed help getting quote getting across the finish line? Yes, that's correct. Okay, Mr. Bobulinski, do you recall receiving an email that floated the possibility of giving 10 percent ownership of Sino Hawk to Joe Biden through Hunter Biden? Yes. Okay, my questions, my last questions are for both of you very quickly. Um, Mr. Bobulinski and Mr. Galanis, you both stated you were told not to use Joe Biden's name in communications, correct, Mr. Bobulinski? Correct. Mr. Galanis? Yes. Okay. Did Joe Biden participate in phone conversations and meetings with Hunter Biden, his business associates, and foreign interests, yes or no? Mr. Bobulinski? He clearly did. He okay, Mr. Quick. Galanis, yes or no? Yes. Okay. In Hunter Biden's deposition, he said he did not involve his father in his business. Did Hunter Biden lie under oath, yes or no? Mr. Bobulinski? Yes. Mr. Galanis? Uh, if that's what he said, yes, that would okay. be true. Is Joe Biden lying when he says he did not interact with Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, their business partners, or forward interests? Yes or no? Yes. Mr. Galanis? Yes. All right. In a debate on October 22nd, 2020, Joe Biden denied Hunter Biden made money from China. Then Hunter Biden, his business associates and foreign interests include money from Chinese businesses, business partners, and or interests. Yes or no? Mr. Bobulinski? I'm sorry. Did, did, uh, the, did, did the Biden, Biden family Biden make money? money from Chinese Correct. business interests? Yes. Mr. Galanis? Did Hunter Biden money receive from money from Chinese business interests? Yes or no? Uh, yes, he okay, was, yes, you. he has economic interests, and yes. All right, Joe Biden yes, has Barbara. repeatedly claimed that he was not involved in, in Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, or any other Biden family business deals. Today, our witnesses have proved otherwise. Today, we've established Joe Biden lied about interacting with Hunter Biden's business associates. It is my belief Joe Biden is the closer for Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and their business associates and foreign interests. Good luck to the left proving otherwise.